Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Nashua Computer Services. What we got here today is a Dell laptop. It's, uh, let's see, Inspiron. And the model number on it is P85F. Um, well, the problem with this computer is that the power jack is messed up. Let me see if I could zoom in. You can see the uh, it broken. It's broken inside. And uh, we're going to be replacing a power jack on this machine. Just going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. And we're going to start removing our screws. This job is not very hard. Interestingly, on this particular machine, these two screws are held in place. You cannot pull them out. So don't force. Okay, the peeling apart is a little bit tricky. You're gonna wanna use a case opener or um, guitar pick to get this one cracked open. Once it's open, it's really not that hard to get it. Sometimes these screws on the sides can hold a little tighter than you wish. Okay. There. This computer has been opened before, not by me though, and that's where this crack is from. I did not create that crack. And usually cracks like this weaken the system a bit so gotta be careful opening it um, manufacturers are not all that smart at putting all these holes in wrong places best place for holes is in the back all right our power jack is right here and let me show you it again you can see that it's pretty messed up. All right. Now we need to remove these three screws. These are holding the um, hinge in place and at the same time holding the power jack in place. Once those are removed, uh, let's see. Yeah, you can do. You can use the screwdriver to um, move the hinge out of the way. There is. Oops, sorry. There is uh, another screw that's holding the power jack in place, and now it is free. Dell does make it easy to remove uh, to order a power jack you want to go by the numbers that are on this label let's see this particular one oh here it is it's on the same side as the barcode let's see it is come on you can see it It's not focusing. Come on. There it is. So it's uh, CN0PF82G or 8JG. Got to use a microscope to see these things. But in any case, it's this number, the CN. 
usually they have a Dell PN something like that or DPN um, HP has a HP spare so you, you want to use those numbers to order uh, the jack now a lot of jacks have the uh, they look the same and they seem to be working but they may not be rated as far as wires go so let's see where our jacket this is our replacement power jack and uh, there you have it Come on. Okay. We are going to put this one in. It's not that way. It's this way. Come on. don't want to force it it has to go in by itself there and it kind of snaps in there we are going to put the jack where it's supposed to go and put our securing screw in place going to check to make sure that it's actually is recognized by this system yep we see the light the light will go out because the battery is fully charged but boy holds in there nice and tight uh, sometimes the uh, um, Hinge, hinges need to go in really tight over these bumps so be careful putting the hinges back on also as you can see what I did here is I covered the little hole with the label so got to be careful there also got to be careful not to pinch any wires this hinge is connected to the ground and if you pinch and go through the uh, insulation on the red wire that's positive you're gonna create a short circuit we don't want that this one doesn't go in in general on computers on Dell specifically you get little triangles that uh, indicate which screws are gonna be present here and which are gonna be present when you put the cover back on so you can see the little triangle here there is uh, there's triangle right here. Let me see if I could zoom in a little bit. Or a lot. There is that triangle. Gotta be looking for those triangles when you uh, putting the system back together. Um, it's not a big deal, but it's a nuisance. You stick all the screws in, like if you put this screw back in, and put the cover on you won't be able to put the cover through uh, through through the cover into the um, computer so just watch out for that also you want to look and see to make sure that there is no dust on the fan this one's clean and the computer is ready to be put back together also putting it together sometimes you have to make sure that the ports are um, sometimes they have a, a metal that sticks out so you want to make sure that those ports are not too tight let's see this one doesn't want to go back in because this screw has a catch on the other side so once you put the screw in, it realigns everything. 
And same thing on this side. Here, those nice clicks. You don't want to have really hard clicks that sound like something cracked, broken. Nice soft clicks are always good. And this is almost it for complete on cut. Hinge replacement on Dell Inspiron computer. I'm sorry, not hinge, gosh. Um, power jack replacement. Job is not really hard, but there are things you gotta watch out for. And uh, those are not to pinch the cord, the wires. Nope. And uh, there we go. The light is on and it goes out. We are done. I'm going to check to make sure that the uh, uh, where's the power button that the computer is actually taking charge properly. First, that we don't get the error where um, uh, our battery is charging properly and uh, the power supply is recognized and we are good to go. Thank you for watching.